Hi again. Um, so this is a continuation on my previous lesson uh, on making loops in Studio One for beginners. So I've got a bass riff here, and just as a refresher, I'll show you that. I know, I know, it's amazing, isn't it? All right, but now what I want to do is add a drum kit to that. So um, following on from previous lesson, I'm using Studio One, um, Persona Studio One, Persona Sounds, Presence Sounds, because that's the free instrument, um, which is available on Studio One Prime. And then I'm using the drum kits in here. So uh, just for this uh, lesson, I'm just going to use a basic kit. I'm going to pull that in, which brings up this thing, which seems a bit ridiculous being that it's a drum kit. Um, but you can still add all sorts of effects, but I'm not really going to get into that this lesson. I can close that off. And I'm going to press Caps Lock, which brings up my QWERTY keyboard player. And uh, first thing to do with a drum kit is just work out where everything is. So there's a kick drum, snare, another snare, another kick drum. You know, And don't forget that um, you can change the octaves here to access even more sounds just depending on what you want. I'm going to go back to octave, um, the C1, and then five is my sort of hi-hat sound. All right, something like that will do. So uh, I'm going to go back to the start here. I'm going to hit record in a moment. Um, my metronome's on, really important to help keep me time. Given that I'm playing drum kit and I've got some other noise, I might just turn that up a bit to make sure I'm in time. I have a two bar pre-count in just so I can get ready after I hit the record button. And here we go. All right, and there we go. And I actually went over um, the fourth bar there a little bit into the fifth bar. So because I want to loop it, what I've done is I've actually started the next bar, which I, I probably shouldn't have done. I want to crop that back to the start of that bar. And you can see I've still got those notes there. I'm just going to take them out. Boom. There we go. So we should be good to go now. And then I can duplicate that away. And there is my drum loop. Scrolling out, scrolling out, D, 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 D. There we go, let's see how that sounds. And you may hear that a few things are just a little bit out of time. What I probably should have done was not duplicate that yet, but gone into here and just, just had a look and see, well, how accurate is my timing here on my computer keyboard? Um, and the vertical grid lines are showing us where the notes are. And you can see how close or not I am to those vertical lines. Um, you don't always want to make it robotic. Um, it makes it a little bit less human. Um, but you can go through and manually change things. The other thing you can do is use a function called quantize. So I could zoom out a little bit here. And then control A selects all of my notes that there are. And if I press Q, it quantizes them, which means it m makes them move onto the nearest vertical line. So I'm going to press Q. And you can see now they are all landing exactly on that line. The only uh, thing with doing that is um, sometimes if you're a little bit too far off, they can move the wrong way, and that's all bad. Let's hear that now. Much better. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. So now D, 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 D. All right, so you might want to do that process before you go hitting D.